Hi everyone, back again with another project share for Scrap Diva Designs, who is Scrap Diva 29. And this is for the file folder mini album. I've already shared it before, but this is becoming one of my favorite dies because you can do so much with it. And here's Erica's card. Here's her website. And here's all of her other information and make sure to follow Scrap Diva Designs, the hashtag, to see what everybody else is making. There's so much inspiration. And also here's her email. Okay, so here is what I made. And I used the new crepe paper gingham. Oh my gosh, what is it called again? Gingham Garden. The colors in this um, new paper collection are so pretty. I wanted something for spring, but this is one of the pieces from the, the collection. It comes already made, but I actually love this, so I think I'm going to start making this thing here. But I made a little pocket here, and these come out, and I used this really pretty edge die right here. And I do believe on this piece here, this is what I cut out for my pockets, like the bigger piece, and then you just layer this on top. Or after you cut it out, then you lay this on your paper, and then you run it through, and it makes this pretty little pocket. But I love how you have all of these different options for to make your pockets, or you could make... Um, like the file folder tap thing too. That would be pretty too on the cover, just having a bunch of tabs on here and having it all labeled. That was another thing I was thinking about. But I'll just set these off to the side. Then you open it up and I did make another pocket here and I have these two pieces from the ephemera tucked right in here. Just put everything back later. <clears throat> and then some more ephemera pieces right in here to either add a picture and then write on the front or just whatever. And then this little thing here comes with the paper collection. Just opens up. I love this having the little snap thing. I just got the little snap thingy um, so that I can do stuff like this. And then I used her dies to cut out. I used the, yeah, this one, the tab die here. And I have, I think I'm gonna put little, like cut out little thingies like this and glue them of course my nails are long it's hard to get out like glue a little thing like right here so that way all you have to do is just grab this and pull it out so it's another little option to use with these little doily corner dies and then there was a piece of ephemera here I just stuck another piece of ephemera inside here but this is where you would put a photo and then decorate it do that later and then and what I did was I made mine so I had just a tiny bit of a spine right here instead of gluing the two pieces down I just glued the little these little edge pieces here I just glued them together just so I could make it a little chunkier very easy to do and then this like I said comes with the <clears throat> The paper collection and then it opens up and this is a part of the collection and I have a little tag there I love this I was thinking I could do that with her dies cutting out like this piece here and then cutting the sides off then you would have here cut another one out um, and fold it down then do another one and then use her little edge dies to make like this little thing because it was so pretty to make a bigger one like on a whole page 
And then here's this little piece and it's just tucked in right there. <clears throat> then I used her, um, her tab die again. And I just cut, or this is in there. And then I just cut this little piece out to, you can either embellish it, set a picture right on the back. So there are just so many, oh, okay, that's hidden. <laughs> so many different ways to use this die. I am in love with it. And here's the inside. There's a little tuck piece there. And then this is actually for a photo, but I just stuck this pretty little butterfly in there for now. And I made it so the little birdie sticks up. So you can just set your photo right in there. And that is it for my little project share for Scrap Diva Designs. I will leave the link down below for this dyed. Like I said, this is such a pretty dye. Everything that comes with it. And thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.